Tracy's cooking show. Today I'm going to be making the drink that I've been seeing all over TikTok. So I'm going to, do, I'm going to be doing that. My healthy routines. Keep my ice cube tray in the freezer even though it's empty. I don't want to wash it. Chopping board. Our health and wellness drink. It's apparently supposed to be good for bloating. Not that I really get bloated. Even when I have this drink. I'm pretty sure I still get bloated. I don't know why I do it. I think it's healthy. Also I'm a bit sick at the moment so like the ginger and the lemon is pretty good. Squeeze lemon juice into here. Should I wash this lemon first? Probably. But I'm not using the skin so I can't be bothered. You got my lemon squeezer. So first we're gonna do two teaspoons of lemon. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The sparkling shit is Manual labor. I don't know why I'm so angry in the morning. Maybe it's because I didn't want to wake up today. But I did because I need to work. I also did my morning walk, which I haven't done in a while. <gasps> These lemons are so juicy, actually. <laughs> There's so much value out of them. Kind of like exploitative companies, right? Just squeezing their employees for all that they're worth until they have nothing left to give and then they're discarded. <laughs> Capitalism, am I right? I actually work for a really nice company though. <laughs> well, I kind of wish I didn't use my tea towel just then, but I'll, I'll. they say that you can use lemon to clean by wiping up lemon. Maybe I cleaned my tea towel. I'm gonna go two teaspoons. One. So pretty much, I'm putting it in the, in the ice cube tray to meal prep it. So that for the rest of the week, I don't have to think about it. We'll just stick that in. Okay, look, I'm not gonna use the entire lemon. I'm just gonna do this. And I'm just gonna be lazy. I don't feel like measuring anymore. I just needed to know how many, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm getting lemon juice everywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yes. Chuck this lemon in the fridge. These lemons can sit out here and be annoying. Next thing is one tablespoon of ginger juice. I feel like all the pulp's at the bottom. I'm just like adding some water to it. So I feel like the first time I used this, I didn't really get a lot of the pulp because I didn't realize it was like all at the bottom. You can also just grate and squeeze fresh ginger, but I'm not fucking doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. This bottle is adorable though. So cute. What am I doing? I don't know where my chia seeds are. I think I threw them out. Fuck. That's fine. But I don't care. <laughs> Did I really throw them out? Did I really? I can't find them. So I feel like I didn't do them. Well that sucks. Normally you would put chia seeds. <laughs> it's like a, a little sprinkle. But I don't have cheese seeds today. Now I'm doing coconut water. This just gives you like some electrolytes as well. You can just use normal water. You can just fill it, fill up the rest with normal water and yeah, freeze these and then every day take out a little cube. Or like every morning take out a cube, pour boiling water over the top. Once the cube melts, then the water's like kind of lukewarmish and not like boiling, so that's really cool. So yeah. I'm going to fill this up with boiling water and then I am going to work. Healthy. <laughs> it tastes pretty good. Mostly because my throat hurts. And the lemon and the ginger is very good. I got a little rainbow buddy on me. Really cute. Oh yes. Oh yes. I, I really need to work. I it's late. <laughs>
this meal, you replace the cucumber with avocado. Oh yeah, it's very good. I do dip it and then I make myself a chai. And we're done. I'm just going to, I put, I put this cute little top and then I'm just going to attempt to make it smaller cause I have no tits. And it's a too big. It's actually not like the boob part that's too big. It's like the, that, where my ribs are. Am I gonna be able to talk and do this at the same time? I wanted to talk about why I decided to not pursue my clothing business anymore. I was controlling my life and I was very unhappy and I wasn't even really like making enough off of it. It wasn't like financially sustainable either so that really sucked. Once I stopped doing that which was like midway through 2021 I really felt lost. I don't know who I am. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I don't know why I'm alive. What's my purpose? And I turned to, not therapy, spoiler alert, I turned to, I guess, spirituality, like manifestation work, mindset work, was like, so am I just supposed to have a 9 to 5 job, or am I supposed to make a business, I don't know, but if I have some closure of what the fuck I'm supposed to do, can someone tell me, then I can quit the side hustle, hustle, and just move on with my life trying to figure out how to make my nine to five job happy or good enough you know is this working i think it's working at the time i had no no freaking clue and then a whole bunch of other shit happened I, I don't know what i'm talking about it's a good thing this is like my first video in a few years because if i suck then it's fine what am I talking about? When we do things that we feel that we should do, it drains the energetic battery a lot faster. But if we find something that we do want to do, the battery doesn't drain, it refills. There was a time when this art business really lit me up. When it stopped lighting me up, I still kept going. And I just need to do X, then I can have Y. I just need to have a successful business, then I can rest. I just need to do this thing and then I'll be happy. <laughs> Not realizing that I was making my life bad. It's like very stuck in when I have syndrome. I should try this on but I can't be bothered. Love to do things that I think I should. Same with dating people. They ended up not being good for me. Invested four years into a relationship, so kind of should stay with them for longer, blah, blah, blah. I ran the battery into the ground. I am in a much better position now and I'm very thankful. I managed to manifest a new living situation, better clients at my job, a more aligned romantic relationship, better friends, do the art that I like. But yeah, now I'm just trying to figure out what the next thing that lights me up is. And sometimes I worry that I don't actually, I don't know, with YouTube, I've always wanted to do it. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, do I actually, I could just not, you know? <laughs> I think I'm so afraid now of failing because I just I failed a whole bunch of things all at the same time and it was very traumatic. <laughs> Might not feel good to do because it's a bit of a pain in the ass, right? Setting up the camera, editing the videos, talking to yourself while other people watch. But at the end of the day, once it's all done, is it gonna feel good to have done the thing? I finished the video, am I happy that I did it? Or was it like, I really didn't need to do that <laughs> and I would have been fine. That's what we're gonna find out. So if there's another video after this, you'll know that I figured it out. The idea of doing the dishes doesn't fucking light me up. But once the dishes are done, oh baby, do I feel satisfied? Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. I feel satisfied getting over the initial hump because I've been avoiding it for a while or I just got busy or just didn't really want to <laughs> like the more you don't do the thing the more you manifest not doing the thing ow fuck was that stupid needle <laughs> almost like I'm sewing or some shit I'm so pointy I can't even remember what I was talking about I've always found that like 
the recording part really isn't hard. I feel like I have like a lot of internal dialogue. Maybe it's productive for me to get that dialogue out there. I'm also an only child, the master of talking to my fucking self. I think I'm done here. The internal dialogue I had for this conversation was so much cooler in my head last night. <laughs> I like how it tastes, but I really hate how the first step is make the sweet and sour sticky, sweet and sticky fucking sauce. Then do the hullabaloo with the cauliflower that I just did. Step one, make sticky sauce. Step two, do the cauliflower better. Then put the cauliflower in the oven. And then the next step is if you haven't made the sticky sauce yet, make it in the meantime. I was like, bitch. I didn't read the whole recipe first. I just are uh, uh, doing one step at a time and not reading ahead. So I always, I, like, and I've done this several times before making this recipe. Oh my gosh, I could have, I could have not wasted the 15 minutes at the beginning making this sweet and sticky sauce. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Made that first, then did the cauliflower, then put the cauliflower in the oven, and now I'm uh, this is the opportune time to make the sweet and sticky sauce. I wouldn't be like 15 minutes behind. Not that I'm doing anything, even today. Hello, it's Tracy. Thank you for watching all the way through. I think I figured it out. I think I think I enjoy this. I recorded all of these clips at least at least a month ago. During the editing process, I found it very annoying and then it became fun. I started coming up with a whole bunch of ideas. So that's really cool. Um, and I have a little announcement. I am going to be at Sydney Comic Con on the 23rd and 24th of September in two weeks. So for whatever reason, if you're watching this and you're in Sydney and you want to come look at my art in person, I, I will be there. I will also open up my online store so that you can buy my art if you like, if you wanna. I'm not here to tell you what to do, I'm here to influence you. More videos in the future, um, most likely a, a vlog on preparing for Comic Con considering I have two, I, I now have two weeks to sort that out and I didn't give myself a lot, I didn't give myself enough time so hopefully it's not too chaotic. Anyway, I'll see you then and bye.